So today I want to show you how to put captions in your videos. This is something that a lot of people wonder about. A lot of people pay people to do, which is totally fine because it can be time consuming. So I would recommend if you are using captions, you do want to do it for shorter videos. And of course, you can use Instagram or TikTok to insert your own captions, which is far easier. But if you find it's a little bit glitchy or it's not showing up the way you'd like, you can use Canva to insert your captions. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So so here we are in Canva right now. I want to um, put in an Instagram reel template because um, that's what I'm going to show you what to do. Um, so we're going to just search for Instagram reel and it's going to come up with all different types of templates. Obviously, you can go through these and pick them out, but I'm just going to create a blank temp Instagram reel. And then what I'm going to do is in my uploads, I'm going to upload a file of a recent video I just did. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it down here. The first thing we're going to do is if you either have a script, um, this could be easy. You can just upload it into the notes section to copy and paste. If you don't have a script and you're just kind of going off the cuff, which I typically do with my videos, um, you're going to have to just start inserting the words and the captions. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to find the ways to cut up our video where captions and the flow of things make sense. Are you curious where Vaughn ranks for prices? So I am just going to to press S on my screen, I'm sorry, on my keyboard, and that's going to split this video right here. Um, so I can either go through my entire video, split it up, and then go back and do the captions, which I think probably makes the most sense. So I'm going to do that really quickly now. Okay, so now that we've got all of our videos split up, what we're going to go and do is create captions for each one. So the first thing that you want to do is go up to file and you want to go to view settings and show rules, rulers and guides. And this is where we're going to put our, our, our captions or the area we're going to put our captions. So we're basically going to pull down a line from up here and I'm just going to put it right here, or actually I'm probably going to put it up higher above my head in this video. Um, I'm trying to think where, just because I know with Instagram reels, it kind of cuts off towards the bottom a little bit. And so sometimes it's hard to read. So we're going to go up here right above my head. And then the second one I'm going to pull down as well. So this is the area throughout the video where my captions are going to go. And of course you can move that throughout the video. If you find you're moving around yourself and you just want it, but I find if you have it in one spot, it's easier for people to follow. So now that we've got your rulers, we're going to add some text and we can just go over here to text and add a little bit of text. Um, so obviously that's very small. Um, so we're going to make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. And what I'm also going to do is under effects, I'm going to put a background color behind it. Um, so I usually like to go black or white because I'm dealing with mainly a white background on this video. I'm going to choose um, a black uh, background, background down here, um, choose black. And then of course the font is going to be white. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video and just write down what I say in that part of the video. Okay, so that is the first video. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it's not going through and ideally just two lines maximum for your captions you want. Um, so I'm just gonna center that in the page which Canva is really good at showing me exactly where to uh, center things. And there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. So control C, and then I'm going to bring it over to this next one. And it has my rulers already. And I'm just going to paste. Um, and then I'll bring the arrow back to the beginning of this part of the video and just uh, confirm what exactly it is that I say. Okay, so we're going to go through the entire video. And so you can see here, if you're using a long video, it will take you quite a bit of time. But if your video is 60 to 90 seconds, uh, it's a pretty easy task to accomplish. So let's go through the whole thing. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like we're all done the video. Um, we just added a couple of extra graphics down here with our email address to encourage people to reach out. So we're gonna go back to the top and just run through the video, make sure it all makes sense. There's no spelling mistakes, everything fits where it's supposed to fit. So we'll do that now. Okay, now that our video is all done, everything looks good. You can add other things if you want to. Um, there's definitely a lot of options in Canva that you can explore, but if I'm all ready to go, I'm just going to share this. I'm gonna bring my head over here and we're gonna download the MP4 video. Um, you can change this if you want it in 4K, for example, make it more high quality. All 16 pages are going to be here. You could add an ending to this, which is another video I'll go through in, at a later time, or you can do something in the front end to introduce the video, do a little bit of an intro, um, but I'm just going to download it the way it is now. It's going to download and ready to be posted to whatever um, medium or whatever uh, source that you want to, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever you want, it's there for you. Hope that was helpful for everyone. And if you do have any questions or have any issues dealing with Canva or trying to figure this out, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help. Have a great day. Thank you.